Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're talking about this, which is my new everyday carry bag. This is from Maxpedition. It's in their entity line and it's the large crossbody bag. So they have a large version and a small version of this. I'll be looking at the small version in a future video. And this one is really set up as my work bag. That one will be set up as really kind of just like a grab and go bag for everyday life. And then I have a large size backpack that's also uh, just arrived and we'll be checking that one out as well. Uh, this bag has been my work bag, meaning that I have everyday carry items in here, but particularly stuff I need for work, um, and in particular my computer. So the other smaller version of the crossbody bag can't fit my laptop, but this one can, and um, that's why I'm using this one you know, consistently as my everyday carry bag. I wanna roll in some of the details here on the bottom of the screen as far as capacity and materials, things like that. Um, all the entity bags are, again, high quality, and they have the same materials that are generally used. So one thing that's different about this bag is that this color is ash, and this other color for the rest of the bag or a lot of the other bags is charcoal. So you can see it's a little bit tough in the uh, lighting, but this one's a little bit darker and this one's a little bit lighter. Both have kind of a grayish uh, tone, leaning a little bit more toward black with the uh, with the charcoal, but I like the colors, very, very subtle. And it's not just because it's gray, man, because it's colored gray, but it does have a very kind of like uh, unobtrusive, like it's not, you know, bright orange or bright yellow. It's not going to catch a lot of attention. So let's talk through the features on this bag. First thing you can see I'm holding right here is the, um, the grab handle. It is kind of like doubled over seatbelt material. I said this on my last review of some of the entity gear is that, um, I thought it was going to be uncomfortable, but it's very smooth, easy to grab, and it's very solidly stitched. So when you look at it, you can tell they just put a ton of stitching in. You're not going to rip this thing off. Here's how you carry, carry the bag with this uh, shoulder strap. It is a QD strap or QD buckle here. So you can take it off on this side. And you can also see when you look at the buckle, it's just reduced as far as the amount of plastic used. And uh, that reduces ounces and ounces add up to pounds. And that's a lot of extra weight to carry. So they try to reduce the weight where they can do that um, across the bag. There's the, um, the padded section. You can adjust this. You can adjust the bag to be right up close to your body or be further away. And then the other thing I'll mention to you here is when I turn it around to the back, you can see we've got this this strap that can go around your waist. I have never used this strap on any crossbody bag, shoulder bag. I just it's just not helpful for me. So you can actually take this um, and tuck it into. There's little pockets here and over here on the bag. I don't necessarily think that's that's not necessary for me. I just basically doubled it up, made it nice and sleek, and now it's not bothering me. Um, nice padding here. You can see it got a little bit maybe torn up here. I got it caught on. Um, Velcro that it had on a sweatshirt and it, it it will it will really catch so just be aware of that So you don't beat up your bag too much, but it's been comfortable to carry um, No, no issues and I like the fact that it's fully adjustable some bags It's kind of a hassle to get them set up the right, you know the right height So it, it falls on your side where you want it to I'm six foot two So maybe different for you if you're five foot nine, obviously so um, yeah, that's really comfortable Good quality zippers, YKK zippers across the board. Um, they also have these little things called zipper garages. So you can see, here's the zipper right here. And then when you zip it up, you're gonna slide the zipper into the zipper garage so that it doesn't move and it also doesn't make any noise. So when it comes to storage, we got a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side as well. Over on this side, um, zip this. And uh, you can see I've got kind of a honed in, um, first aid kit, there's a tourniquet, just some basic band-aids, some basic meds there. I've got a little bag here. It's got um, some pepper spray, it's got a lighter, and it's got some matches in there as well. And that's everything in this in this uh, pocket over here. No internal organization in this side pocket. Over on the other side, let me kind of hop to the other side here. This is actually the water bottle holder. So I had the uh, zipper in the zipper garage. I'm, I'm gonna zip this down now. And this can expand out. You can put most most size water bottles in this uh, in this pouch. I don't carry a water bottle that often to work because um, I have you know water at work basically. I have a bottle there at work waiting. So I just have a little pouch here where I carry all my um, cords, charging cords, headphones, things like that. And I just stick that down in here and then zip this up. And that's where I carry uh, carry that gear. So in the back of the bag here, there is a. Uh, let me get the zipper. Again, nice large zipper pulls. Um, in the back of the bag, there's kind of like a fleece line section here. And if you had a smaller laptop or a uh, tablet, you could put that in here. My my Mac Air doesn't fit in there um, with the case on it. And so I have that in the front section of the bag here. But what I did is that even though this is built for 
um, a tablet and or you can use it as your CCW compartment. I actually have a CCW holster here, but instead of having a pistol, I actually just organized my charger for my phone here or for my uh, computer there. So I just put it in the holster and then rolled it, uh, put it in this section so it's not taking up space in another section of the bag. Um, I will roll in a, a, just a quick video here so you can see what it actually look like, looks like to have a holster uh, with a pistol in it and being stored in this section of the bag. And I want to mention really quick here that these um, these additional items that you can get from Maxpedition, they have admin pouches, they've got just a lot of different ways to organize your gear within the bag if you need additional organization. And I'm going to show you one of those in this video and then in other videos I've got some other ones I'm going to show you as well. So let me close this up here. So that's your two side pockets and that back pocket. And then the main pocket zips down like this. And this is a great feature on these bags. So they have what they call the drawbridge system. When you open it up, it doesn't just fall totally open because the drawbridge system stops it. So you can see that's what it does. You can see right here, there's some webbing and right here, there's some webbing as well. That keeps it from opening up totally and all your gear dumping out all over the place. If you want to open it up totally, you press, basically press in on the drawbridge on the little hooks and then they unhook really easily and now the whole thing falls flat. So that's what that looks like. In the main section of the bag, I've got my Bible and then I've got my laptop here. And so that slides in. It takes a little bit of English to get in because over on this side, I've got a, um, I've got a tourniquet. So that's the other thing that's inside my so bag. So inside the bag though, um, I've just basically, you know, I've got a couple bigger items, but you can see we've got a pocket here. You could put a tablet, you could put other, other gear there, a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side as well. And then when I spin this around, you'll see where I set up this admin panel. And so what we've got here is this is a hook and loop field behind this panel. And so I've attached this and then up top here, we've got a very small, kind of thin, well, it's long, thin pocket. And so in there, I've got some cordage and I attached it to the uh, lanyard that comes with it. I've got a um, battery for charging up gear. And then I've got a bunch of pens. I've got a tied to go stick. That's kind of a standard everyday carry thing for me. So here with the admin panel, I've put a bunch of gear. I've got a small lightweight um, everyday carry knife, which is a backup. I've got a small Olight flashlight as a backup. And then in this, I've got the, um, this is the Q3 the uh, baton from SOG, and so that's my multi-tool. It's a little bit heavier than I would like, but um, but I like the way, they, way that it actually fits into this uh, into this little um, pocket here, and I can organize it, and it, it basically just stays in place where I want it to. Now, if you wanted to put other things, you want to put patches or other gear in there, you can do that. This is going to be loud, but I'll tear this off. So that whole panel comes off. This is what it looks like right there. And then you can attach other gear there, obviously patches and then other organizational um, hook and loop systems that Maxpedition has, you can attach there to organize your uh, organize your gear. So that's a quick summary of what I have in my everyday carry bag. Um, you can see I don't have a ton of extra bells and whistles. I've got, you know, first aid, I've got an extra flashlight, extra knife. Um, I've got the gear I need for work and um, electronics and stuff like that. I don't have a ton of extra, you know, survival emergency gear. Um, I keep emergency stuff in my car and then I've got some stuff at the office and then this is you know going back and forth between home and the office so I, I when I look at these bags or think about these bags I think you know again subtle gray man urban um, not gonna catch a lot of attention but internally I'm all about organization whatever bags I have I, I just want organization side I'm not a guy who just you know you throw a bunch of gear into a big pocket and call it good I want the different things in the different sections this certainly gives that as an option this is what I would call my work bag, you know, or everyday carry bag, that smaller version that I'll show you in another video. Again, it's kind of like a, if I'm going out to do some reading, run some errands, uh, maybe go visit a friend and I'm gonna bring a tablet and some other gear, a couple books, then that's what I'll carry. This is dedicated to work for me. So when I get home, I take this off, put it in the shelf, and then the next day before I go to work, I grab this and, uh, and head out the door. So, you know, as, as is true with all Maxpedition gear, high quality, nicely made, a um, lot of research and development goes into uh, what they're doing. And when I talked to Tim Tang, the president, founder of um, Maxpedition last year, so 2018 at SHOT Show, um, he was basically saying now that they have the three lines, they're going to be expanding out, you know, into those three lines. They're not going to get rid of one and have one take over or get rid of two and have one take over. They're going to continue all three and they're just going to add different developments to each of those particular lines because people like just the different versions of the, uh, of what Maxpedition has to offer. So brand new bag. Let's hear your thoughts. I've got links down below. Um, if you want to find out more information about this, uh, this bag and other gear from Maxpedition. So yeah, let's hear your comments and, um, 
what you think about this bag and Maxpedition in general, particularly if you've owned Maxpedition gear, share with us your experience. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.